Welcome one and all to this week's edition of Stream Brain Comics. One little note for you. You know, you know when you're entering a good friend's house, when your phone automatically connects with their Wi-Fi connection. Oh, by the way, open Dearborn. We got it here. Free. No password. Courtesy of Green Brain Comics. It's time for your weekly tour of all the new comics hitting the shelf this week with your hosts, Shay and Katie! comic store staff in the world going from zero to 60 into your living room. Wake up for your naps, kids. <laughs> Woo! Let's, Let's hit those shelves. Ooh, don't, um, Ooh, look at this. Don't pass up first shelf, or first on our magazine rack, we got the new Mad Magazine. It's like Cubert, right? <gasps> Cubert. <laughs> it is very... Cubism me. Oh gosh. <laughs> Those goofballs over at Mad. Gotta love them. Woo! Oh, and on our action adventure shelf, we're starting with American Carnage number four. Not quite as silly as Mad, but funny masks. <laughs> Barbarella. Oh. oh, no, let's not forget Anthem, a new verse, number one. I think that's a video game. Yes. Or pew, pew. it's a comic about a video game. How about that? <laughs> Correct. You can play it like this. Down, up, down. And then we got Barbarella Deja Thoris, number two. Check out these cool covers by artists. I don't know, Whoa. but they're beautiful. Look, look. So pretty. Very nice. Oh. And then... <gasps> Bitterroot, number four. Oh, yes. Oh, and check out these cool covers. Sam for Green. Yeah, series artist. Somebody else. Awesome. Maybe Erica Henrik. Oh. Or David Mack. So pretty. I love this one. They're all so nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Good book, too. Oh, yeah. Sam's going to be digging that David Mack cover. She already got it in her pool. Oh, we got one oh, more. Got oh, more. Oh, Kevin Nolan. Nice. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Black Badge, number seven. Yes. Black Ops, Boy Scouts. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we got a couple covers for this, too. I'm excited. Oh. This is a, such a good series. Skulls are awesome. It's yeah. a skull. It's a map. It is a map. Skull map. It's a map of Skull Island. <laughs> Come on. Contour Perfect. map. Breakneck by Hard Case Crime, number three of four. And we have Coda, number Ooh, nine. pretty. Mm. And we got anything up on the top shelf? No, nope. we're good. Come on over this way. Ew, we have volume two of Days of Hate. Act two. So this is this is it, right? Yeah, I think that issues. caps off all twelve issues. Yeah. Death Orb number five. We also have a third print of number one of Die. Die, die, die. No, nope, just, no, just die. die. Just die. That's a different series. <laughs> There's a lot of dying going on over in the D's. <laughs> East of West, number 41. Oh man, this is hurtling towards its climactic conclusion. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Evolution, number 14. What's going on there? Oh, I have no idea. Oh. It looks like a giant crab monster. Got something. a little fishy in the river. It's fine. I love Exer Sisters number five. And check out this cool cover. Ooh, Ooh. Very nice. By like Moritat. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. That's a nice. good series. I like it. It's real fun. It's fun. <gasps> Grumble number four. From our pal, Rafer Roberts. Oh, yay. 
a new number one from DC's Vertigo, High Level. Very nice art by Barnaby Bagenda. Oh. See, that's Yeah, that's a nice place. name. <laughs> Barnaby Bagenda, Barnaby Bagenda, Barnaby Bagenda. <laughs> Incursion number one by Valiant. Stay Valiant, Philip, of course. Ooh, got a nice cover there as oh, well. Nice. Nice. Hey, matter of fact, Philip Little just came in and said, Stay and remain. Hey. Stay and remain. <laughs> <laughs> also, Philip and all you other Valiant fans, I'm not sure if you saw the, the big news of Valiant's new editor, Heather Antos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she used to work here. Isn't that wild? <laughs> Moving on up. <laughs> Ian Fleming's James Bond 007, number four. Oh, James Bond's got a hangover. Well, yeah, he's always got a cocktail in his hand. Of course he's got a hangover. As well as Judge Dredd number four, because he's toxic. Toxic. <laughs> Jughead, The Hunger, Deadly Legacy number 12. I think this is the final issue. Oh. Uh-oh. But that's okay. He'll be back. George McDonald's The Light Princess number one. As well as light step number four of five. So much Shadow light. Without form. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we also have Lone Ranger number five. Really nice John Cassidy cover. Mm. What's up here? A uh, soft cover of High Crimes volume one. Nice. Oh, Christopher Savelle. Cool. Cool. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Sandman Universe, Lucifer, number five. I just noticed that the E is a, a pitchfork, right? Yeah, Good one. sure. <laughs> Mars Attacks, number five. So much drippy brain. Oh, plus it's a maze. The end? Plus it's a maze. Oh, no, start to end. You can be like, <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> oh, I've been loving this one. Middle West, number four. Yay. It's so good. The art is so pretty. And the colors, too. We sell more and more of this every month. That's because it's good. Word's yeah. getting out. Oh. Oh, look. I think this book is cool because it totally is. Monstrous, number 20. We also have... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody stop around. We also have that, Relay, number four. That looks that creepy. So uh, many faces. Yes. Hmm. I'm not really sure. <laughs> they, they make a vanishing cream for that. Oh. <laughs> we have, oh, Savage Dragon, number 242. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gives a whole new meaning to butt face. The ant and the god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, look who's back. It's Seven to Eternity, number 13. Very cool cover by series artist Jerome Pina. What's on the other cover? Let's, Let's find out. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice cover by somebody else. That's real nice. Find them. Find Whoever them. that is. That's cool. We got a new number one by Mark Miller, Sharky, the Bounty Hunter. With, with us. Lots of covers. Lots of covers. Ooh, Frank Quietly. Ooh, nice. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh Mateo Scalera. That's him. And oh. uh, Yildre Sindar. Wow, nice. One more? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Moly. They and, just uh, keep going. Carl Kershaw from <gasps> Isola. Hey, Yay, cool. Yay. Well, that's wonderful. Lots oh, of those cool, cool covers. covers of Sharky. Very cool comic. So many covers. I think it's going to be my pick of the week. Awesome. Starcraft, Soldiers, number two of four. That looks like... It's on fire. The disposable assassin. <laughs> oh, Scud. <laughs> Scud. <laughs> looks a little like Scud. Stronghold, number one, by Aftershock. Oh, Written Phil by Hester. Phil Hester. Yeah. Nice. Sikipon, Turbo, number four of four. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> The Terminator, Sector War, number three of four. Tarak, number two. As well as Wolfborn, number one from Scout Comics. And number 24 of Exo Man of War. A couple more on the top. Starcraft Scavengers, trade paperback. Yeah, this reprints the previous miniseries that leads into Soldiers, I believe. And speaking of reprints, <gasps> we've got Transmetropolitan in a new format, book one, book introduction one. by Garth Ennis. These are those new formats where they reprint two of the original soft covers into one <laughs> double 
trade paperback. Yeah, they, yeah. Looks like they walked around the hardcover this time around, but that's cool. That's we okay. We saw the soft cover better. Because yes. Trans Metropolitan is awesome. I'm going to read Also one. awesome. Before we uh, move over to the next section, I want to say some hellos. Hello to John Miller, Mike Hilly, Hello. Philip Little. Uh, let's see, Michael Floyd. Michael Floyd says, Blackbird has the most pleasantly colored covers. Blackbird Indeed it so does. Good. It does. It's beautiful. Those and beautiful Jen Bartel colors. Yes. Art as well as interior. And last but not least, and probably many more, Paula and Mark Beauchamp said, hey, everyone. Hey, guys. Keep piping in. Keep saying hey. Keep Thanks. telling us uh, your favorite covers were all years. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for joining us and tuning in. We love our fans. Ooh. Moving on to the indie graphic novel shelf, we have The Electric State by Simon Stallenhog. That's pretty looking. This is the Whoa. first release from Skybound Books. Oh. And it's very similar to uh, the format of Sean Tan's books. Mm. With really cool illustrations and associated Whoa. text weaving throughout. That looks awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Creepy. Letter to Survivors by Gabe. Gabe? Gabe. 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 Lane recommends. Oh. That one. Huh. Okay. Long Road to Liquor City. Mmm. Kind of reminds me of Rock Candy Mountain. Yep. Hobos and pies and the police that chase them. <laughs> by uh -huh. Macon Blair and Joe Flood. Gabriel Bell's Truth is Fragmentary, a travelogue, travelogues and diaries. Travelogues. Okay. Pray for travelogues. This is her trip through France, or through Europe. <gasps> Look. This, this might be my pick of the week. <laughs> Orosai Yatsura, one of Japan's number one top-selling manga creator of all time, Romika Takahashi's yeah. original Lum series that... It originally came out in manga in 1978 in Japan. It was translated in the 80s in the U.S. and there was a um, anime to go with it, and it it was a, obviously a huge hit because it ran for a really long time. But if you're a fan of Ranma One Half or uh, Inuyasha, Inuyasha, mm -hmm. all the other Ramika Takahashi books, and either haven't seen this or haven't seen it in 20 years, here it is again. Long, you can read again. I'm very excited. <laughs> very beautiful. Wonderful. Beautiful. Very nice to have it back on the shelf. It is rated for older teen, or for like higher teen and up, so it's not like over here in the, the grown-up section. I mean, like, I would say it'd be like 15 and up, you know. It's not like mature or anything, even though she's wearing a skimpy bikini. That's a nice note. <laughs> Her books are very like tongue-in-cheek sexy, like they're not yeah. you know, over the top. Hey, while well, we're transitioning over to the counter, I'd like to say hey to Kevin, who chimes in and says, I always watch these videos, but I don't do comics anymore. He feels guilty. Aww. Though he does do role-playing games. <gasps> if, oh. if we sold those, he'd be down, <laughs> down here buying stuff. Call oh, of well. Cthulhu is his game. <laughs> well, Kevin... We don't have um, a ton of RPG stuff yet. We do have a lot of board games. We have um, a growing selection of D&D &D games, as you see here, and some fun game comics, and just all kinds of, we are ever expanding our gaming selection. And we're always taking special orders. If it's something that we can get from our distributor, we're more than happy to take that order. So uh, stop by when you're in the neighborhood, Kevin. I was going to say, don't feel guilty for not reading comics anymore. Just keep your eye out for the one that just calls out to you. There's one out there for you that you are excited, that you will be excited about again. There was one out there from somebody that just bought the latest, umbrella. or the first Umbrella Academy volume. Oh. That's because I heard the show was really good. Also, Darnell Lee waves at us. Hey, Darnell. Hello, Darnell. We got a bunch of cool stuff this week. <gasps> Ooh, let's see. We got Invader Zim, Doomsday, Dice Game. 
I like these little games that come in uh, these cool packaged tins. Yeah, it's really nice. Fun. Oh, you have a Hellboy set of four coasters. In the back shows you what they look like, and that's Ooh. pretty cool. Apparently, yeah. March is Hellboy month. There's, I guess, a new movie coming out, but there's, it's also like the anniversary. Is it like? Yeah, it's kind of like some big anniversary, 25 or 30. Yeah. Wow. Pretty amazing. Go Hellboy. And speaking of Umbrella Academy, we've got a cool collector pin set. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, and even more pins. Look at these. Oh my gosh, look at wow. all those pins. These are so cool. We got Spider Gwen, Spider Man, Black Panther, Thor, Power Man, Doctor Strange, Venom, Carnage, Captain America, Miles Morales, Spider Man, and Iron Man. And they're all those cute. They are very fun. They're like double layered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's they're cool. They're really well priced for what you're getting here. $8.99. What a deal, wow. Schlemiel. Sweet. <laughs> oh. oh, and I didn't put the variants out yet, but we got one for uh, Return of Wolverine and uh, the other one. <laughs> we'll have them out tomorrow. Oh, right. Uh, Wolverine Infinity Watch. something. Yeah. <laughs> but what's on the new DC rack? We have all new. Aquaman, number 45. Check out this cool cover. Ooh, Whoa. Kelly Hamner. Yeah, that's nice. Is he Undead drowning a pirate zombie? Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, it's nice if you like pirate <laughs> zombie. With green teeth. Batgirl, year one hardcover, the deluxe edition. Ooh, such a pretty cover. That's, that's nice. nice. I like that cover. Mm -hmm. Oh, 03? Ooh, that's kind of old. Batman, 65. No oh, more nice. lies. Chris Burnham cover. I'm not sure who did that B cover. Not sure either, actually. I the forgot. Of Vengeance, very part nice. three. Black Lightning, Brick City Blues, Spark the Revolutionary Trade Paperback. Catwoman, number eight. Ooh. With the beautiful Joel Jones cover, as well as. Ooh. Tony Daniel. Tony Daniel cover. Noise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is nice. Very nice. 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 <laughs> Damage number 14, where monsters go to die. I think this might be the final issue of Damage. Oh. Uh -oh. Come and get it while it's here. Oh. Good thing it's got a gorilla on the cover. Yeah, they always sell better with gorillas. It's a proven fact. Justice League number 18, Brainiac's Revenge. Another one of those hostile Legion of Doom takeover issues. I... With a Will Conrad variant yeah. cover. Very cool. Elseworlds Justice League, Volume 3. Superman, The Last Man on Earth. The Flash, Crippled. Batmite, and Mr. Uh, destroy the multi. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even going to try. <laughs> Uh, this features that classic yes. world's yes. finest yes. parody from Evan Dorkin. Mm. Nice. I like it... Batman. He's like on top of. Wait, that's Batman, right? Oh yeah, yeah. And then... various Batman. Oh, there's a couple of. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Hey, look, we got Mr. Miracle back in. Hooray! That was our bestseller in it last week. Oh yeah. Ooh, we got Naomi number two. I love this book. Number one was really cool. It was really good. I read it and enjoyed it as well. Yeah. Ooh, look who's back. Nightwing, pray for the Joker's daughter. Number 57. Ooh, Ooh. pretty cover. Very pretty. Forgot the artist. Uh, hmm. Decal? Decal? Yeah. Decal? Yes. Decal. It's pretty. Deckle. It's very nice. Good job. Great Good job. job. <laughs> you did a great job, Mr. Decal. Teen Titans, number 27. <laughs> That's cute. And it's that one guy from Teen Titans. And by that one artist who... Alex Garner. Thank you. Is that Beast Boy? No, that's... No, that's it's uh, the blue guy. Yeah, it's this It's the guy. blue guy. <laughs> With the Guy Gardner haircut. He's a bouncy guy. What stupid. Oh. <laughs> Why is he have a Guy Gardner haircut? So look who's back. It's Apollo and Midnighter. Wildstorm, number 20, by Warren Ellis. We got a B cover on that one. Oh. 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 Or maybe that's the A cover and that's the B cover. Hmm. Mm. This yeah, because I think that's the series oh, yep. artist, yeah. Yep, yep. John Davis Hunt and some other guy. That's good. Person. Nice. And that YA. 
wraps up the DC Comics for this week. Yay! <laughs> now we're going to move on down and show you all the Marvel Comics. <laughs> had, to get, had to get Shea Poe going in her, in her newly wakened state. <laughs> New for Marvel this week, Avengers number 15. Buy this comic or we'll kill this Avenger. Oh, oh. no. You have to buy it now. You know, that's, be okay. that's an old trick. I don't, I don't know if that actually works that's anymore. That's actually really funny, though. I like that. <laughs> they, used to, they used to do that a lot. It looks so menacing. Avengers, no road home. Two of ten. Get them quick. They're going to go fast. The Black Order, number four. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's amazing. It was on purpose. Oh, I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, There's a B cover on that one. The Black Order number four B cover. Nice. John Christopher Tyler. Ooh. JTC. That's cool. Tyler Christopher. One of those guys. Pretty. The guy with three first names. Black Panther <laughs> Epic Collection. Revenge of the Black Panther. He definitely looks like he's like Jack Kirby. Revenge. Oh, look at that. Nice. So many Kirby dots. Boop, 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 boop. See, Kirby Dots do associate with Black Panther. What is happening with his eyes, though? He looks menacing. He's, yeah, he's menacing. Oh. <laughs> what or people looks larger than that? his opponent has really bad garlic breath. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Black Widow, number two. Ooh, nice Clayton Crane cover. Mm-hmm. Pretty. Mm-hmm. And on our top shelf. Oh. Avengers Endgame Prelude for Marvel Studios, number three of three. Mm. West Coast Avengers trade paperback. Best Coast. Best Coast. Best Coast Avengers. Captain America trade paperback. Winter in America. Winter is apparently coming. Hmm. Wait, winter is here. Uh, collecting the first storyline from New York Times bestselling author Ta-Nehisi Coates. Ooh. Coates. Coates. <laughs> Doctor Strange, number 11. Uh-oh, he's going to get stamped out. Rejected. He's going to get rejected. Oh. Guardians of the Galaxy, number two. Who's this guy? Oh, I whoa. thought Thanos got his head chopped off. I guess Shh. not. <laughs> Thanos lives forever. Hulk Greens, number one. That's right. Say it again. Hulk Greens. Hulk, Wolverine, Weapon H. All in one book. Wow. Wow. I'm surprised that one book can contain so much awesome. Come on, you know you love it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. They workshop that for at least a day. Wait, who came up with this title? Love romances? I, I, as opposed to any other kind of romance? Young romance, long romance. Hate romance. I mean, like, it seems a little redundant. Don't be too down on it. It's got writer Gail Simone. Hooray! And well, I'm sure she didn't think of the title. The Secret of Everlasting Love. Oh! <laughs> Speaking of secrets. <gasps> Ooh! Powers of a girl! 65 Marvel woman who punched the sky and changed the universe! With beautiful illustrations by Alex X. Zhang. It's so pretty. Beautiful. Looks just like this. So Ooh. pretty. Nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Marvel Comics presents um, number one second print. It presents a second print. Hooray! <laughs> we still got a couple of copies of the Ooh. first print in. Well, just in case. It probably you has want a it. different cover. Yeah, there you does. go. Look at that. <laughs> Wonderful. Look it up here. Oh, Secret Agent Deadpool. First time in print. I, I like his. Uh... Oh, cufflink. Yeah. <laughs> nice. He's dressed all schnazzy and stuff. A schnazzy. <laughs> Old Man Quill, number two of 12. He looks kind of old. Everybody oh. looks old. It's in the title. Old Man Everybody. <laughs> How he kind of looks like Kenny Rogers. You can't be sp- <laughs> Don't they have any young people in the future? <laughs> <laughs> Shuri, number five. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man, volume two. Yay. Friends and foes. Also... Spread leg and Spidey. Yeah. I'm going to point it out every time now. <laughs> Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number three. Oh. No legs here. No leg. He doesn't even have any legs. <laughs> Ooh, nice Andrew Robinson cover. That is pretty. 
It is. Aside from the fact that he's like drowning in hot lava. He might be spread eagle under the lava. We used know. to play this game when we were kids, hot lava. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. He's, that he's actually... <laughs> Miles Morales, Spider-Man number three. Okay. With the legs spread apart. <laughs> Seeing this cover reminds me that we didn't do our event listings. Oh, oops. Oh, oops. oh well. <laughs> but hey, while we're talking about it, on Wednesday, March 13th, we're welcoming Miles Morales, writer... Saladin Ahmed! Wait, Ooh, it's it, all it, it, out of focus there we, and stuff. There we go. Maybe. Saladin Ahmed's going to be here to this debut person. the brand new series, Magnificent Ms. Marvel! Yay! Yay! But you can also get your Miles Morales Spider-Man book signed if you so choose. Yeah. He, he'll happen. sign all his books. Yes. Within reason, of course. Well, I meant any of them. Like, if you, if you like Black Bolt better than Ms. Marvel, you could bring a Black Bolt. Right. Old Man Hawkeye Volume 2 also out this week. The whole world is blind. I think is that it? collects the whole thing. The whole now. world blind. Oh. It's an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Also in second print. Invaders number one. Oh. Captain okay. America, Namor, and Spoiler Winter Soldier. Warning, this happens. Why don't this happens? How come they didn't do um, Captain America, Namor, Winter Soldier and call it Cap Norger? <laughs> because they workshop that and it didn't work out. <laughs> Punisher trade paperback, World War Frank. Venom number eight. Eleven? Venom number eleven. What the heck? <laughs> wow. Wasp number five. Unstoppable Wasp. This has five. been really good so far, though. It's just good. a note. It's a hit. Donnie, <laughs> apparently. That makes sense. People like the Donnie Cates. And I have heard that it's really good. I have not read it myself, but it gets high recommendations from um, staff manager Shay. <laughs> <laughs> the Amazing Nightcrawler, number one. From oh. the uh, oh, okay. Age we of X. Can X-Men. go to that one? We, we I already did one. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Unstoppable Wasp, number five, and The Amazing Nightcrawler. <laughs> Age of X Man, number one. Uncanny X Men, <laughs> number twelve. Woo! Pew pew. Featuring the turn of the, the return of these two guys from the last issue. Oh, there oh. they are. Oh. oh. Rounding out the X Men shelf with Wolverine Infinity Watch, number one. What? Huh? <laughs> what is even happening here? I don't here? even know. A lot of stuff is explained in this issue. I'll just bet. And I was still confused. <laughs> <laughs> and the return of Wolverine, number five. He's back. Uh, um, and just clearly. to be just to be clear, <laughs> uh, read the return of Wolverine, number five, before you read oh. Wolverine Infinity Watch. The one leads into the other. Good oh, to know. Wow. Yep. Because yep. that's Marvel for you. Good to know, though. That wraps up our Marvel shelf. <laughs> now we're going to move on to our Star Wars YA department. Look, we got these back in. <laughs> Yay! Count Dooku. That's his name, right? Dooku? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Eliza Dooshku. Do what? Count Eliza Dooshku. Doolittle? Do Doolittle. Yeah. Oh. Eliza oh Doolittle. Oh my god. Star Wars, Age of Republic, Anakin Skywalker, number one. Got that back in too. Hooray. I thought that was the first. Never mind. Solo, Star Wars story, number five of seven. That's a long adaptation. Must have been a long movie. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> and on our YA show, we have Archie Varsity Edition, Omnibus, book one. This collects the first it's year beautiful. of the um, Archie relaunch written by Mark Wade, featuring beautiful. art from Fiona Staple of Saga fame, with the pretty cover also by her. Beautiful. Mmm, French mm. fries. Makes me hungry for French fries and milkshakes. Mmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, we have another one. We have a uh, number four of Tom Scioli's Gobots. You ever wonder what Tom Scioli looks like? Look at the back cover. Oh. Uh-oh. That's oh. Right. He's a hippie. Wow. Look it's, at that. It's Ozzy. It's Ozzy. <laughs> it's Ozzy Scioli. It's Ozzy 40 years ago. <laughs> all right. Which shelf are we going to? Uh, all right. We got nothing over here. So. 
on our YA graphic novel shelf, we got Futuribea. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you handle this other one. <laughs> Miss Kobayashi Dragon made Anna's Office Lady Diary. All right. Blind one. Was she eating a fish cookie? Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. I would fish eat that bread? fish cookie. Yeah, something fish like that. Fa- fish shaped baked item. It could <laughs> just be, yeah, like cookie cutter fish. <laughs> and over on the other shelf. <gasps> Kim Possible Adventures! Oh, I love Kim Possible! So this is um, out because Kim Possible is getting a live action remake. Oh. But if you guys are old enough, you remember the original series, and that's what this is. Pretty great. I, I am old enough to remember. I loved Kim Possible. <laughs> <laughs> Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy. A modern retelling of Little Women. By these people. Mm-hmm. Nice. This was on last week's list for some reason. What? Huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't know nothing about that. Either that or I messed up the newsletter. <laughs> World of Reading. This is Captain Marvel. With <laughs> stickers. <gasps> Yay! I love stickers. I love books with stickers. <laughs> is, also, it a, is it got a sticker of an old lady for her to punch? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Cheese Sweet Adventure Volume 3. Oh, look at those oh, sweet babies. They're, they're so, so sleepy. Cute. And also 1 and 2. Yay. Oh, we got them all. <laughs> and Pixar's Incredibles 2 Electric Boogaloo Crisis in Midlife and Other Stories. Aw, with a cute Goody Hero co- cover. Yeah, Goody Hero. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Last but not least, on our All Ages Shelf, Adventure Time, Marceline the Pirate Queen. She's a pirate. Graphic what? novel. She's a vampire. Original graphic novel? Are these the original? Yes. They're yes. doing like, like four, one. is it four one-shot original graphic novels? I'm not sure. Adventure Time presents Marcy and Simon, number two of six. Got a couple different covers on there. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Young Simon. Aww. Awesome. Very cool. Fun. And down on the bottom shelf, finally, Sonic the Hedgehog, the fate of Dr. Eggman. He is the Eggman, Cuckoo Could You, Volume 2. Yay. (laughs) Sweet. Uh, oh, but we also forgot the script. Well, that's okay. That's okay. We're going to fling it. Well, I just wanted to well, remind everyone really quickly about our upcoming events. We have um, our return of our book club coming up on Friday, March 1st. Uh-huh. And the featured book is E. Sola. I Sola? I Sola, E. Sola. I'll tell you what, we're going to be Skyping in with a live Q&A with the creators, and we can ask them exactly how to pronounce it. <laughs> so be sure to, to check that out. We always have our open game day on the second Saturday of the month, mm-hmm. brain candy on the third Monday of the month, mm-hmm. and as Dan mentioned, the Saladin Ahmed signing on Wednesday, March 13th from 5 to 7. Be sure to check out all of our social medias for all of our event updates. Yeah, <laughs> and as usual, thanks for joining us. Uh, tune in every 6.30 on Facebook or watch later on our YouTube channel because we do this every single week, every single Tuesday at 6.30. Like, subscribe, and comment and all that stuff so that we stay in your feed. And I also want to say thank you for all of our subscribers. We finally hit 100 subscribers Yay! this week. And we hit 100. Woo! I don't know who our 100th subscriber was, but thank you so much. Thank we were you. trying to make it by the beginning of the year, but, um, you know, it's only a couple weeks later, and That's we did fun. it. So now our next goal is going to be 200 subscribers. 200 subscribers. <laughs> 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 and as always, we are always spreading the love of comic books and graphic novels from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn since 1985. Feed your brain at Green Brain Comics. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy Wednesday. See you tomorrow.